Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a secret effect of an armor that the game does not tell you, as well as show you guys how to get super rare samples guaranteed. And no, I'm not going to say just look for the silver rock. There's actually a way to look for super rare samples guaranteed as soon as you spawn in the map. And we're going to also be using this armor I'm talking about to help us. So as always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm building a new audience for Helldivers videos, and I do in-depth testing to give you guys awesome tips and tricks that are actually worthwhile. So I showed in my last farming video that you can use the scout armor which allows you to ping the map and show enemies but you can also use this to find areas of interest but you aren't just finding a few enemies and assuming it's an area of interest the armor itself literally tells you where areas of interest exactly are if you hover over them now I did some testing with this armor and it doesn't work with certain modifiers that the higher difficulty maps give I noticed the secret effect of the you know telling you that there's an area of interest doesn't work with orbital fluctuations. It will still ping most of the enemies, but yeah, it just won't tell you where the areas of interest are for some reason. And you probably also don't want to use it with the map obstruction areas either, just because you can't see the map at all with that modifier, so I think this armor is useless there. Meaning, in general, this armor is actually better on robot planets, but you still can use it on bug planets just without those modifiers. Now, when I showed the effect of this armor on my last video, a couple people commented and said that the map always marks when it's a minor place of interest, but I'm talking about before you walk up to the area. So I'm showing a clip real quick of me wearing a different armor set and testing this to see if it marks it on the map before I walk up to the area and it doesn't. Now, if I, if for some reason it does for you, then I don't know. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that it doesn't work like that for me. And I'm also sure there's more things about this armor I haven't discovered. So please go ahead and give this armor a try. Find something I didn't talk about or find something wrong in this video or any questions you have, just comment all that stuff down below. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and segue this into how to use this armor to find super rare samples guaranteed. Every single video out there about super rare samples just tells you to look for the oval rock with the silvery lines around it. And I figured since this armor literally points out areas of interest, which super sample rocks count as, I would make a guide on how to farm them with this. But while I was looking at the map to do just that, I realized that super sample rocks show up on the map. You can literally see them. Now, it's gonna be hard to see this in my footage because it's a little bit small, and when I do blow it up, it will probably get a bit pixely. So the best that I can explain it is you're really just looking for an extremely silver oval blob thingy on your mini map. These areas are more silver than anything else on the map. So start with the map fully zoomed out. Just look for any silver dots that really stick out to you and then zoom in and see if it's an area of interest. Now, sometimes a hell bomb or a dead charger show up as silvery blobs as well. But if you're wearing this armor, it will mark that silvery blob as an area of interest meaning super samples are now a guaranteed fine. Now, the only thing you do have to keep in mind is there is one fake super sample rock on each map. I even have a clip where I ran to the fake rock and then hunted down the real one and found both within six or seven minutes, something like that. I found them both very, very fast. And I have a bunch of clips otherwise of me hunting on my mini map and then running directly to them. Now I will say the first couple tries took me a while to look for it. However, once I got some reps in, got, once I got some practice, I really figured out what I was looking for. And then once I found out what I was looking for, I found them within just a couple minutes, including the runtime guaranteed every single time as soon as I spawned in. Now, a couple other cool things with this armor is it won't show you side missions. It only shows area of interest. Now, why is that cool? Because if you ping a larger kind of area, either a big kind of rectangle area or an oval area, 
that's usually the side objectives. And enemies show up in those areas, that is usually the side objectives. Now there's the radar dishes, which are usually the more rectangular areas, and the Seif artillery, which are more oval-shaped areas. And once you start using this armor and really studying the minimap and realize that the minimap actually shows everything, you'll actually just be able to kind of spot these without this armor on any. And even though this armor doesn't literally tell you there's a side objective there, like I said, you can actually still use this armor to find side objectives to get 100% completion on maps from now on. But it does take some practice using it to really know what you're looking for. So I recommend when you put on this armor to use it as many times to get the hang of it. Don't just use it and be like, oh, I can't find it and then just take it off and think that it's useless. It's like using a map and a radar. You know, we're all used to GPSs and our directions just telling us exactly where to go. Turn left here, turn right there. But that's not how this armor works. You literally have to practice with it and look for this stuff. Like, it's almost like you're making your own map. But once you get good with it, you will be able to pinpoint nearly every area of interest, every side objective, every uh, super sample, and get 100% completion runs finding absolutely everything. And I was using this all night since finding out about this trick and posting about it in my other farm video, and I've really gotten the hang of using it and finding things on my minimap with it. Now another cool thing is this is also decently useful for combat as it has 30% bonus stealth on it, as well as when you ping the map it shows all the enemies and then you can set up to flank around them. After your teammates engage head on, you know, coordinate with them a little bit, you go around the enemies and flank them because this is very useful for many armored enemies, such as tanks, such as hulks, such as chargers, such as the AT-ATs, and there are other smaller armored enemies who have weaknesses from behind as well. Because if you know where the whole group of enemies are stationed, you can find the best route to get around them and get the flank attack on them. And once again, that's going to take some practice and some coordination with your teammates as well. So, you know, go run in and die the first couple times, but get some practice in because there is actually a play style there. And that's it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more awesome and clever Helldivers tips, tricks, and secrets that no one is talking about yet trying to build a new community for Helldivers on my YouTube channel. Also, go ahead in the pinned comment down below, follow me on Twitch, and join our Discord, as we do invite viewers to join our lobbies anytime we have free slots. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.